But I don't know anyone. This this is chapter... 21. But I've never read any commentary that doesn't believe that Jesus is talking to anybody but those people. Yeah. Chapter 21. Chapter 21. Chapter, you know, 23. That's that's where the indictment really comes in, which is chapter 23. Uh, First... Verse 31, this is, this is after Jesus issues this, this indictment to them. Verse 31, consequently, you bear witness against yourselves that you are sons of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of the guilt of your fathers, you serpents, you brood of vipers, as right. you mentioned. How shall you escape the sentence of hell? Therefore, behold, I am sending you prophets and wise men and scribes. Some of them you will kill and crucify. Some of them you will scourge in your synagogues and persecute from city to city that upon you may fall the guilt of all the righteous blood shed on earth from the blood of righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah, the son of Berechai, whom you murdered between the temple and the altar. Truly I say to you, all these things shall come upon this generation. Okay, I don't know of any commentary again that says that Jesus is speaking to somebody other than those people right there. You are right. To the you. Okay. The you there refers to them. As far as, you know, and I'm not a scholar, so there's no reason to take my (laughs) assessment of this, but as someone that that is kind of a geek on this subject, I don't know of any commentary that says Jesus is is referring to anybody but them. So that's 23. But then we get to 24. Well, yeah. (laughs) And Jesus goes on and says, Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, who kills the prophets and stones, those are sent to her. How often I wanted to gather your children together the way a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, and you were unwilling. Behold, your house is being left left to you desolate. For I say to you, from now on, you shall not see me until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Verse 36 says, Truly I say to you, all these things shall come upon this generation. Okay, so we've seen this generation used, this generation used. Nobody debates that. No one argues that. Jesus is talking to that generation. He's saying you. He's saying this generation. Yes. But now we get to that use of the term this generation. In Matthew 24. In Matthew 24. 34. But now we got to understand what's the context of Matthew 24. And we have to remember that when the Bible was first written, there were no chapter divisions. There were no verse numbers. So this is this is for us to, so you and I can say Matthew 24, 3. Right, Or Matthew right. 24, 4. Not, these verses are not, the numbers and the headings are not inspired. This is one conversation. This is one moment being recorded. This is one this is one event being described. Yes. So your house is going to be left to you desolate in the chapter 24 verse 1. And Jesus came out from the temple and was going away when his disciples came up to point out the temple buildings to him. Now why would they do that? Because Jesus said this was going to happen to their generation, and he said, your house is going to be left to you desolate. And the house is the temple. The house is the temple. Right. And they, they look, we're letting now the Bible interpret itself here. Okay. Uh, when the disciples come up to point out the temple buildings to him. So we know this is, this is about the temple, that temple. Right. We, we don't have to guess as to what temple it's talking about. This is not talking about a rebuilt, another rebuilt temple. And he answered and said to them, Do you not see these things? Truly I say to you, not one stone here will be left upon another, which will not be torn down. And everyone agrees, though, that the temple was destroyed by the Romans in the year AD 70, that all the stones were actually, you know, I mean, I'm sure one laid somewhere on it. But I mean, but all the, I mean, it it was destroyed. You go over there today, you, unless you're told where the temple was. Right. There's no evidence that it was ever a temple. Right. I mean, that's, that's staggering. I mean, this. You talk about the the Bible self-authenticating. This this is one of those examples. This is why liberals say, "Oh, this was written after the fact." Right. And this is written because you know, it's so clear. It yeah, have so, to yeah be. right. It have to be. It can't yeah, be prophetic. Operating assumptions is there's no pro. There are no such things as prophecies.